Hello? Hello? Hey, is this Jerry? Yeah. Hey there, Jerry. This is Ron calling from TrackPhone. Uh, about your safe link. Do what now? This is Ron calling from SafeLink about your track phone. Yeah. Um, I think your wife um, wrote in a complaint to me about a problem with yes. the SIM card. Yes, so... hold on just a minute. Thank you, Jerry. Hello. Hey there, ma'am. This is Ron from SafeLink about your uh, track phone. Yes. I was just calling to confirm that you received the SIM card now. Hold on one second. <laughs> Get more, I can hear you. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I was just calling to confirm that you had received the SIM card that we sent out. Yes, I have. Okay. And I called back about that and it still wasn't working. It still wasn't working? No. So, ooh, okay, wow. Um, it should be in the computer what they've done. I don't know. They've been putting everything in there. Um, okay. We we tried everything. The woman said something about she'd talked to her boss or somebody about yeah, maybe she getting another to phone. I'm not sure boss about the phone. What um, to do? So okay, let me get this resolved for you. Let's get this sorted out once and for all. Um, now. Let's just go back to the start. I, I understand you haven't had a working phone since two days before New Year's Eve? Yes. Two uh, days yes. before New Year's Eve. So that would be uh, the, the 20... Uh, would that be the 28th or the 29th of December? Two days... Or two days... Or was it two days yeah, after New Year's so. Eve? Yeah, I don't have a... I believe be, that would I, be I about the, right. I don't have a calendar. Right if it on was me, if know. it was two days after, it would be the first, wouldn't it? Or or was it New Year's yes. Day itself? In which case, it would be the second. Uh, yes, and I I thought maybe but, but you, you said, know I was waiting to see maybe I just didn't have service because I hadn't got my minutes on there yet. Yeah, but you said two days before, so that would have been uh, yeah. So uh, I'm just trying to figure this out here. So. There would be some time in between, sort of, you got Boxing Christmas Day and, and New Year's Eve, and so if it was two days before, that would be around the, what, say the, say the 27th? Yes, that, that sounds about right. Or the, or the 28th, which which would you say is more right? Or the 29th, because um, I mean, that's two, because there's 30 I'd days. I'd say about the 28th. There's, there's, there's 31 days, I'm sorry, in December, 31 days, so that could have made it around, let me see, the 29th, 29th, does that sound more right? 29th or the 30th, which one, which one sounds more right? Or was it three days after, before New Year's, which could have been the 28th? It was, it was the day before Christmas Eve, or Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve, sorry. The day before Christmas Eve would be uh, new year's new year's i had it for christmas okay new so 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 the day before the day after new year's eve and then yes. four days after christmas minus uh two days before uh let me see so that would be uh let's see we're just we're just approaching burns night now which is in two days um let's that would be about the 30th i guess yeah, so um so so five days after Christmas, which is two days before New Year's. Yes. Would that be right? So Yes. So carry the two and that would be uh minus the, the, the New Year's day itself would be the twenty ninth, right? Yes. Okay. De then definitely not the thirtieth, because that was that was a weekend. So would you say it was was a weekend or a weekday when this happened? Because that'll help I establish. I can't say for sure. Right. I mean, I know so much was going on with the holidays and stuff. Yeah, I know yeah. it's right around in that time. I'm just trying to establish the the day. So I'm thinking two, three days before New Year's. Probably let's. Yeah. Let's let's okay. So for argument's sake, let's say midnight on the on the between the 29th and the 30th. So I'll put that uh -huh. down as the time, shall I? Okay. So mid bang on midnight. So this is when the problem started, right? Okay, just uh, um, then I noticed it. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, what were you doing up at midnight? Uh, well, I was uh, sleeping before before midnight. So. Oh, so you were sleeping and you awoke, and I'm probably on the morning of the 29th, and that's when you discovered that the minutes weren't working. Is that right? Yes. What what time do you think you woke up on the 29th? Would you say, what, around 8 a.m., 9 a.m.? I don't know. All I know is it's not working. I mean, I, I don't know the exact time. I, I can't I, say. I understand. I just need specifics here for my report. So would you, for argument's sake, let's say you woke up on 9 a.m. on the 29th of December 2017 and you noticed the minutes weren't working. Yes. Okay, and when when was the first time you called into the uh, the call center? I don't remember right off. Honest, I don't. It's, it should be in the report. That oh, I, I yeah. waited for a while because I thought, you know, see what I did. I, I buy them extra minutes, and I was afraid that might have messed up my getting my regular minutes. So no, no, it was no. it was about the eighth, I'd say, that I called because I was mm. starting to get worried. I was thinking maybe you know it messed my minutes up somehow. No, no, that's not possible. I'm not I'm not no. sure how this works, so yeah. I was afraid mm. maybe I just yeah. run out of mm. minutes. Nice, and, yeah, mm. and yeah. whatever. The edges uh, hadn't been put mm. back on. No, no, they were put back. On, uh, it looks like you call. I'm just checking my uh, call log here at the call center. It looks like you called about seven, eight times. Is that right? Asking for the for extra credit. I'm sorry. It says here in my report that you called the call center around seven or eight times, asking for extra credit. Extra credit. I don't know what that means. Credit on the phone. You know the credits, the minutes. No, I wasn't asking for extra credit. I was trying to ask for help of why my phone wasn't working. Well, uh, the phone relies on the minutes. You understand how that works? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe I just didn't get my minutes at first. And right. And I, we finally determined that there was something wrong with my phone. Something wrong with the phone? Yes. Mm, uh, this, this, this is... Uh... This is more of a SIM card malfunction. Have they not offered to send you a new SIM card? They did, and then we tried to get that one to work, and that one wasn't working either. Have you put the SIM card in correctly? Yes. Have you, have you, have you, have you had someone check that for you? Um, I don't have anybody that can check it here. I mean, I've... Okay, do you, do you have the phone with you? Do you have the phone there? Yes. Okay, go ahead and open it up and just tell me which side the SIM card is facing. Okay, hold on just a minute, please. All right, no problem, old lady. Jerry, Yeah, fucking Jerry. You talk to him and he can tell you what, to, what I need to do, okay? Well, bring this chair over here again. Okay. Okay. Hello? Hello? Did they hang up by accident? <laughs> Jerry, yeah, Jerry, Jerry hung up by accident. <laughs> oh, shit. You should fuck with the date on him now. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what I was going to do. going to start the whole conversation. Hello, sorry about that. That's all right, no problem. I'm speaking with Jerry. Right. Hey there, Jerry. So my okay. name is Ron, and I'm calling all right. from uh, SafeLink, uh, Telephone Machine Systems Incorporated, LLC. Um, so, um, I, can I just confirm something with you? Do you, do you recall the... You, you're going you're gonna to have to ask her to shut up while we... What we do with this, I can't talk to two people at once, okay? Uh huh. Good. Um, can you just confirm with me the uh, date when you first noticed the problem? I'm being told it's around New Year's Eve, is that right? Or a couple of few, few days before? It was 
around uh, right after Christmas time. Right after Christmas, but before New Year's yeah. Day. Okay, yeah, so, before New Year's. So sometime, how how many days after Christmas would you say it was? It was a battle of, uh, about, well, it was that week, uh, so it was about, probably what? about three days, three days from Christmas that she realized so she was about, having problems with her phone. It was about eight weeks after October the 31st. Did that sound yeah. about right? About eight, uh -huh. eight, eight weeks from October. Jerry, Jerry, you, you are going to have to. the chip side goes down or up? Jerry, you are going to have to get her to pipe down while I try and help with this, okay? I, I can't... Okay. Um, so the chip side... Uh, fuck me, I don't know. Um, put it down. Down, down, upward, upside, upward, down. Upward, down, he says. Upside, upside, down. Upside, down. And it needs to be facing east. It needs to be facing the east. I think it'll only go in one way. Actually, it'll only go in one way. Will it only go in one way? It's, yeah, well, the, the shape of the SIM card should may, mean that it will only go in one way. But obviously... Yeah, the shape, but, but it can the go shape in, of it means it should go in one way. You see the little groove there on the card? The little groove on the card. But you can put it in upside down or right side up. You can either do it upside down or right side up. So what you want to do is right side down. Right face, side down, excuse me. Right side down facing east. Right side down facing east. Got it. How are we doing that? She's trying to get she's trying to get it in there. So tell her to jam it on in there. Okay. She's still trying to get it in there. Come on. Jam it right in there. Huh? She needs to get it right up in there. All right, did you did you guys get some kind of instruction manual with the phone? Did you get an instruction manual with the phone? Yes. Right, have you looked at that at all? Did that? Have you, yes, she got that. Right, and what does it say in there? No. Sir, at this time, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna okay. need some. I'm gonna need some help. Do you, do you mind if I bring in one of my technicians on the line? No. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Let me let me get one of my technicians on the line. This is Joe. Okay. Hey, Joe. Um, I've got a couple of people here having some problems installing the SIM card. They seem to have got it stuck. Um, okay. Okay. Well, she's got it in now. And I've got the battery in. And she's, she's got, got the battery in. I don't know if you need okay. to confirm the date or anything, but we, um, how can we proceed from here? So, this is uh, when did this happen exactly? It kind of depends on the date. Uh, the weekend of New Year's. Weekend of New Year's. Okay, and then it's this is a uh, this is a, a like a track phone, an, an Obama phone. They call them. Is that what this is? Yes, it is. An Obama phone. So, a uh, Ron, are you aware of the date that this the actual date of the call? It looks here like there were um, a few calls made into the call center. 
it looks like there are about eight calls in total, um, and this is after the 32nd of October, about six weeks after. Okay. Six weeks, okay. Six weeks after October, was it Was it just right after Christmas, a few days before New Year's, it looks like? What what would you what would you say, sir? Something like that. I don't I don't know. I just let's I don't... just assume that's when it was. Uh, yeah. Now, Ron, have you had them swap out the SIM card? Yeah, well, I've just got them to put the SIM card in the correct way. Um, so I I, I I guess she's going to test it out now. Do you want to talk okay, them great. through the, the the setup procedure? I, I got I brought you in because yeah. originally she managed to um, she got it stuck somewhere. Okay, so now that we have it in there and it's working, um, so it, it, can you make a test call with it, ma'am? Have you made a test call with it? I have once, but I'll try it again. You should yeah. do it right now. Okay, because I do see it. I do see the attempt being made here. It looks like maybe she's dialing the wrong test number. Is she dialing a, uh, a valid phone number? It just said that there's restrictions on the line. Oh, restrictions. Now, you did mention that's an Obama phone, right? Yes, it's in the straight government straight talk. Yeah. Right. And, that, I mean, the problem, I think, is the fact that that, that um, you know, that, that uh what do you call those people that basically the, that that organization or the people that deal with that uh the obama phone situation that's been taken over by the uh the trump so, you know they got those new trump phones and they have a whole different sim card they're they're racist sim cards did you get the racist sim card or the regular one did you get the regular one or the racist sim card no, the racist. It's either a racist SIM card or a regular one. There's also the uh, sexist one, but the racist one's the one you want for the Obama phone. Okay, just a minute. Yeah. It just says SIM card. Yeah, it just says SIM card on the package. Yeah. What color is it? What color was it? White? Yeah, it's black with black letters on it. It's white with black letters on it. Oh. I'm yeah, yeah, that's one of the decommissioned Obama Sims. You, right, you, the, okay. the racist Sims are all white. They don't have any black letters on them. They're, they're basically white letters a with white a bunch background. of sexist-like comments on it. But it's on a white background. Okay. Right, it's white background so with white letters. Well, it's white with black letters, so... Do you have any whiteouts? So, the what? Do you happen to have any whiteout? Maybe if we get rid of the black letters, it'll work better, because the, the new Trump systems really have a problem with the black letters. Okay, okay hold on just a minute. Go get some white out, and they said white out well, with letters. No, 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 we don't, we don't want to do it yet. Uh, until I get the other technicians on the phone, and I don't think they're available. So just have that handy in case they do call you to put that on there, because we definitely don't need the black letters on there. That's going to cause problems with the Trump system. So somebody else is going to call us tomorrow? Yeah, you, you definitely shouldn't be whiting anything out on there until you actually are told to do so by a technician. They'll call the phone, because I do see the attempts being made. But it's getting restricted because of the the, the SIM cards, not the uh, racist the racist SIM card. Okay. So uh, you can actually convert it to a racist SIM card. You you basically have to if you take the SIM card out and hold it in front of you. If you can hold the SIM card right in front of you. Right now. Yeah, and you just make disparaging remarks about other races. Or sexist remarks against women. You just kind of make it toward it. You talk toward it. Okay. I didn't. You got to actually say racist or sexist remarks to it in order for it to work right. So th then you can put it back in, but it's still being restricted because you haven't made any racial or sexist remarks at it. So she needs to take it out and look at it and make a right. racial remark to it. 
by six right. ring mark. Right, that's right. Make it While we're holding it. Okay. I, you you can do it now so we can test it out. If you want to go ahead and do it, I'll. That way I has, can hear it right be, in the report here. This has to be done with a technician on the line. It won't work. Okay, hold on. You got to look at it, make a racial remark to it, or a sexual to it. To the Sims card. Hold it up to your mouth and talk to it, and make either a racial remark. Or both. No, it makes the card water. Just hurry, do it. It's got to be a Trump card, so that's how she turns it into the Trump card. We have to hear it, sir. I don't hear anything. I'm not saying They're not. It's an Obama Sims card. She's got to she's got to turn it into a Trump SIM card. It's really simple, sir. I mean, this is really actually quite simple. Once you make a bunch of racist and sexist, dispar you know, disparaging remarks toward it, it'll actually become your Trump card, and that's how you get it to work in the okay. government phone. Unless she's upset about it. Well, you can do it too, sir, if you want, just to get it over with. We can do this really quick, and it'll be over with, and we can move forward. We'd like to get this solved. Why did we have to do that? Why can't you just send her another card then? Because it's restricted, because it's still an Obama SIM card. We need it to be a Trump SIM card. And that card has your minutes on it, so we can't just send you another one. Right? Well, your minutes is on it, so you're going to have to do it. You're going to, sir, you're going to have to do it. Otherwise, sir, we have no way sir, of identifying this. Yeah, I think Jerry might be better suited for this job. Jerry, can you get hold of the phone and, and just start yelling some sexist and racist remarks at the phone? It only takes a couple. How is it going to change, how is it going to change the card over? Because That's it's for currently us. an Obama phone, okay? I know, but what's that got to do with it? That, that's how we convert it. Oh my goodness. This does not sound right. Sir, do you want the phone unrestricted or not? Yes, I do, but uh, I've never had to do this before to a SIMS card, and no. I've had a lot of SIMS cards. Yeah, but have you ever had to change a Trump card, uh, sorry, an Obama phone to a Trump phone? No. No, I have not. Sir, it's a we new world, it's a so, new system, you know, we get this a lot, I realize it's, it sounds kind of weird, but trust me on this, okay? If you just work with us here, we'll get this resolved. Well, she doesn't want to do it. All right. huh? The only other solution is to basically, you can, do you know how to kind of make a noose out of rope? What did she say? She's going to call a supervisor tomorrow. I want to call a supervisor tomorrow. I can I can get a I can get a supervisor on the line right now if you'd like me to. Hold on just a minute. What's with these people? I'm in awe right now. <laughs> so close. Yes, I know. Can you do any different voices? Yeah. Do you want to do you want to come on as a different supervisor? Yeah, yeah. I don't think she's heard me yet. Anyway, she, they're not listening. I think they're probably whispering some racist remarks right now, just to see if it starts working. <laughs> they can make a noose and they can hang it. And that'll that'll also work too. A little bit far, but I I might well <laughs> might work. I mean, there's a, we can do this another way. We don't have to yell stuff at it if okay. you don't want. I think I can the best understand. thing here, shall, shall I get the main supervisor on the line? Would you like to speak to a supervisor, sir? I, I can put the supervisor on right now and he can resolve this for you. Would that help? Yeah. Okay, bear me a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to patch him straight into the call, okay? You, you're going to hear the supervisor. Bear with me. Hello, sir. Are you there? Good evening, yeah. Billy. Billy, hi. I've got uh, Jerry on the line. He's having some problems converting his Obama phone to a Trump phone. 
Uh, can, and he's basically not happy with the service he's receiving. Can you try and help? Yeah, we can help him out here. Sir? Yeah? Yeah, we need to fix the phone for you. Well, I want to talk to a real supervisor. So you take yeah, this care of your supervisor. This is Billy. Good day. This is Billy. This is Billy. I supervise Ron and Joe. Oh, fuck, he's gone. <laughs>